Hello, my Pokemaniacs. Welcome back. We're going to try to um, attempt the gym a little early. Uh, I have switched my team quite a bit. I got rid of Machamp for Jinx. Um, obviously, I got rid of Staryu for Suicune. I went ahead and changed that on the, the layout now. Uh, and then probably after these um, next few battles, after we're done with this gym in this city, we're going to be going down towards Route 45. Or at least I, I usually like to go down through there a couple times or three times. Uh, just so I can uh, get a Skarmory. Because I want to replace my Pidgey, my Pidgeotto with a Skarmory. And, um, well, the hopes, the hopes are that Eevee will evolve into an Umbreon. That way I have a Dark type. And I won't have to worry about Psychic types at all. Um, Jinx that I have that I caught was 22. I leveled it up to 25. Because um, Jinx does not learn any psychic type moves. You have to literally, like, basically hatch a Smoochum, which you could leave your Jinx that you catch uh, with a Ditto at the daycare center on these old versions. Hatch an egg that turns into a Smoochum. Just don't let the Smoochum evolve until level 37, after level 37, because it learns psychic at level 37. Um, but if. Smoochum will evolve at level 30 into Jinx, so you can do that, or you can just do what I'm going to do, which is just fight with the Jinx with the Ice-type moves, because I don't really need a Psychic-type Pokemon right now. Uh, I don't even think I need one for the Elite Four, because uh, Scissor will take care of the bug types for me, and, and if not, it's okay. I got other types that I can use, um, but anyway, uh, basically what I'm planning on doing is just going... Uh, to play with um, Popo or Jinx here, just the way they are. Uh, and I'll eventually teach him Psychic from Mr. Psychic's house. I'll never forget to TM from Mr. Psychic over in Saffron City. Oh my god, come on, dude. You just called me before I even did this. That's the second time Wilton's called me. <laughs> just before I started recording again. Good lord, man. Alright, so... Basically, I leveled up the Jinx to 25, so he, uh, she would learn the um, Ice Punch, which is actually a special type move on these uh, Gen 2 versions. So... Your first battle against dragons? I'll show you how tough they are. I just gotta be careful, because the females have... Cedras and horses. I'll just have to switch in my uh, Meganium. Should be fine against the Dracini users. Of course, unless they have Flamethrower. Or a Dragonair with Flamethrower or something like that. Yeah! Oh, take that. Popo on fire. Figured this would be a faster way to level Jinx up to about the same level cap that I've got right now. Good night, Dratini. Yes. Almost screwed to 26. My dragon Pokemon lost? Yeah. where most of the other battles are at up here. Um, yeah, so the next one is going to be one that has uh, Horsey or Cedra. I can't allow a nameless trainer past me. Claire would be livid if I did. to battle, so now it's Cedra. It's only a dragon type when it becomes Kingdra. So Kingdra's pretty awesome, really. Um, 
this just... Oh. I hate smoke screen when it's used on me. Oh! I just wanted to do that before I switched out to Chica. to uh, knock it out, but it should be enough to hurt it. Oh, wow. Never mind, it was just super effective. Didn't even get a crit. 26. Nice. That works for me. It's not, uh, it's not as if we all use Dragon-type Pokemon. <laughs> no, they don't all use Dragon-type Pokemon. Cool Trainer Cody wants to battle. Send out a horsey. Yay, horsey. Try the lovely kiss again. Oh, yes. Getting lucky. Putting these things to sleep so I can swap. That's, why, that's one of the reasons why I like Jinx, is that move. Not the only reason, though. Jinx is a pretty strong Pokemon. It deserves a Mega Evolution. Make it evolve into a powerful princess type Pokemon. <laughs> I don't know. Nice, Chica. Right, another Seedra. Er, yep. Okay. <laughs> I gotta say something on one of them. Discord chats. survived. Maybe we'll be able to knock it out. something? No, no, that's right. Okay. My chain my chance of losing not even 1%. I doubt that very much. Dragon air. This is where it gets kind of iffy here. This will take this will take two ice punches, I'm sure. But Jinx will be faster though. Thank you. 
Until that happened. Oh, good. Bye bye, Dragonair. Ooh, so close. That's odd. Let's go ahead and use a Paralyze Heal. I'm not going back to the Pokemon Center until after. <laughs> Guy's a jerk. I had to go back upstairs and come back down. Alright, there's one more down here. I believe. Dragons are sacred Pokemon. They are full of life energy. If you're not serious, you won't be able to beat them. Trainer Lola! Hey, Alola! Lola! <laughs> What's the battle? Never Melt Ice really does help with the super effective hits on Jinx. That's what I've got on Jinx right now, too, by the way. I don't know if I told you that, uh, told you guys that or not. Slam's gonna hurt. Good, Jinx. Superstar. Nice. Alright, I think that was the last trainer. Oh, I had to drop another rock down that, that hole. I think. I'm not sure. It's real strange, though. Alright, we're going to go back to the Pokemon Center here up real quick. Um, the team's pretty much set up the way I want it. I do want to check my items, though, before we go in there. I'll make sure I have plenty of revives, just in case. You never know. These games were bad for leveling-wise. Um, you can literally end up beating the Elite Four with, like, level 40 Pokemon the first time through. If not less. And then, um... The second time through level 50. That's what I did. And then I took on Red at level 50 Pokemon. And, uh, beat him too. And he has a level 81 Pikachu and level 75 of everything else, pretty much. So it's really not that hard. Um, it just... It's a pain. That's the only thing. You'd be like just replaying the game every day just to beat the Elite Four over and over again to level your Pokemon. Now it's so much easier to level. In my opinion, anyway. Alright, we got nine full heals. Um, got a max revive. Got eight revives. I think we got enough. Wait a minute, how many revives did I have? Eight. Oh, pff, yeah. That's plenty. That should be plenty. Start out with Jinx in the front. I'm going to save in front of her just in case we mess up. The luck does not go in our favor. Uh, the only thing I'm going to have a real problem with is her Kingdra. It is weak. Ta basically nothing. Except fairy types now and dragon types. So... That's going to be tough. But we'll save right here. Uh, 
Now I'm going to stop the recording just in case we have issues. That way I can come back in here and edit it out. Alright. Here we go. I am Claire, the world's best Dragon Master. I can hold my own against even the Pokemon League's Elite Four. Do you still want to take me on? Fine, let's do it. As a gym leader, I will use my full power against any opponent. I expect nothing less, Claire. She has two Dragonairs, a uh, Dratini, and a Kingdra, I believe. I believe. Freeze it! Freeze it, please! Darn. Hit that thunder wave. Oh, Jinx, I needed you to come through there. <sighs> Let's risk it. Miss the slam. Good. Miss the slam. Send out that Kingdra now. Try and breath. Yeah, she's scared of that jinx. Okay, so go with Chica for right now. I want to revive my Jinx, get it ready to go again. That's not be very effective. Might have to use potions though, I don't know. Try to use a super potion. Real quick before... So I think grass type moves are just... minute against it. But we'll find out. Oh, Hyper Beam. I forgot about that move being on it. Let's just see how much Razor Leaf does. I don't think it's going to do very much. Yeah, not very much. Um, let's use a Hyper Potion. Oh, pfft. Hyper Potion used on the right Pokemon. Oh yeah, we could tank this. She'll have a Hyper Potion to use too, so I gotta be mindful of that. I'm hoping for crits here. Go hyper Beam, we can, we can tank this, come on. She has to recharge this next turn, so... Yes! We knocked out the king. Alright, perfect. That is what I mainly was concerned with. Okay. I don't care what you do, Dragonair. I just need some chip damage on you. My Jinx can come back in. I figured you had a nice beam. Alright. It's actually going pretty well. No, I had to sacrifice Chica, unfortunately. Alright, Jinx, this is all riding on you right now. No pressure. Booyah! Oh, so close to 29. All three Dragonairs. My bad. I 
think this one has flamethrower though, if I'm not mistaken. It has thunder wave, just like the rest of them. Good, I'm glad that missed. Sweet, we win. Good night, Claire. Perfect. I lost? I don't believe it. There must be some mistake. I won't admit this. I may have lost, but you're still not ready for the Pokemon League. I know. You should take the Dragon User Challenge. Behind this gym is a place called Dragon's Den. There's a small shrine at its center. Go there. If you can prove that you've... That I've lost your lazy ideals, I will recognize you as a trainer worthy of a gym. I, I completely misread that first part there, but... Of a gym badge. But obviously we have to go back and we have to go into the cave since we beat her. is the Pokemon Gym. Got another phone call. My goodness. I took a hike in Dark Cave yesterday, see? Well, there were tons of Dunsparce around. You have to see it. I get this feeling that Dunsparce may be timid. I didn't see any there where there are strong Pokemon. All right, then be good. Well, you know what? Let's go ahead and go catch a Dunsparce real quick, just so you guys can see how useful those guys are. So I'm going to do that real quick and then we'll come back here. Um, where's the dark cave at? Oh, I'm so lost right now. Is it Violet City? I believe it's Violet City. I don't think we ever went into Dark Cave. Because it's supposed to be like over here. Bear with me, guys. Where's that bicycle? Get out of my way. Bitterberry! Alright, here's Dark Cave. Oh, that's right. Staryu has Flash on it. I'll just go back and forth till we find the Dunsparce, but they should pop up a little bit easier now since he called us and told us about them. Kind of add this on the back of our... Um... They're going to be low level, so this might be kind of hard with Popo in the front. I might want to switch Blade up there. Let's do that real quick. Sorry guys. Done sparse, done sparse. Ah. Oh. Catch us a rare Pokemon. There he is. Perfect. She is. Excuse me. Done sparse. Gotcha. Perfect. 
I'll have to come back here with a Pokemon that knows Flash. It's a land snake. It hides deep inside caves where no light ever reaches it and remains virtually motionless there. You know, Dunsparce is a very underrated Pokemon, and I feel like it needs an evolution. I really do, because it, it, it was a beast back in this gen. Um, especially with the defense curl and rollout. There's other moves that you could use on it, too. Alright, let's get out of here. Switch back to Popo in the lead. Uh, Chica needs to switch back down to... Second from the end. Alright, fly back to Blackthorn. Okay, so basically that's going to be it for this video, guys. I'll catch you guys in Dragon's Den.